Hello, I'm here in Liverpool city centre on this very busy, sunny Friday afternoon. If there are still those who believe what Joe Owen says regarding cultural transformation of our city, if there are still those in doubt that may think Jones is exaggerating or even making it up, you just need to do these two things. Listen and watch. Listen to my videos as I bring you this message and watch as more and more of our city undergoes cultural change because that is what is happening. Cultural change has transformed a once proud working class Scouse community, Kensington, Fairfield, into something completely different. That most certainly isn't my imagination. That is real and present. So if there still are those who doubt what I say, which I can't really see how that can be, but you never know. Maybe you just don't get out a lot and don't see what's happening, I don't know. But just, if you're watching these videos, just listen to these videos and watch. I'll bring you the message live from the front line. And you'll see with your own eyes that cultural transformation is real and present in our city. Our city is earmarked for cultural change like all the other towns and cities across the city. Uh, across the country, sorry. Right? I'll tell you who does take Joel serious, and that's the Liverpool Echo. That's why the Liverpool Echo gave me the cold, uh, sorry, the silent treatment, right? The silent treatment just ignored me. They didn't want people to hear what I had to say. They didn't want to hear my message. So they just ignored me. You have to excuse me, it's very busy. Uh, they just ignored me, right? So they take what John says very seriously because they know should this message reach large numbers of people across Liverpool, then that will reflect in votes. When candidates like myself oppose to cultural change, put their name on a ballot paper, right? So, trust me, right? The cultural change is real and present. And if you don't believe me, just listen and watch. Like I've said, Kensington and Fairfield is certainly not a figment of mine or anyone else's imagination. And other parts of the city are also undergoing cultural change. Like I said before, I'm here to lay the foundations. I'm here to spread the message. For when you believe time has come where you can vote for the candidate that's opposed to cultural change, and then you can do something about it. In the meantime, listen and watch. Okay, thank you.